Prime Minister James Marape paid a visit to the PNG Forest Authority office today for the first time. He was welcomed by Forestry Minister Saleh Waipo and management and staff of the authority. The PM's visit was timely as forestry faces issues that he is aware of. When he arrived, he skipped the pleasantries and got straight to the brass tacks. For those of you who have been here, can you tell me what's the value of asset we are producing this year and selling? Someone from this department, I need numbers. You've been here for how many years? What's the value of the asset we have in our countries? In answer, a PNG FA staff said there was about 205 operations currently in the country, and 20% of those operations belong to Papua New Guineans. Within the 205 operations in the country, 19% are forest management agreements. The staff reported that there are about six different project arrangements within PNG FA that they give out. And the highest that's in the composition of those project agreements are TRPs. That is about 36% of the 204 operations. The next in line for that is forest management, which is about 19%. Regarding PNG FA's annual productions, the staff reported that as of January to June this year, about 1.8 million cubic meters left the country's shores and equates to about 170 million in revenue this year alone. The staff provided the information in detail from 2017 up to June 2022. It was reported that there is about 36 million hectares of forest that is the coverage of our total land mass in the country. There is about 44% available for forest production. I uh, appreciate each and every one of you for coming out. We've got much work to do. I just want to, you know, um, I'm being blunt here. We want to make more money for our country, but at a sustainable, a sustainable rate. Uh, this sector is one of the sleeping giants we've been playing and uh, marble sofa. I want you all to recommend to the minister through uh, the board and MD as to how best we could ramp up and double our production in this sector without compromising sustainability and compromising uh, good environmental practices. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.